Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahola, Second Swing Golf at the 2020 PGA Merchandise Show. And we're at the Ping booth today and I'm joined by Ryan Stokey uh, to talk about the Ping Hepler putter line. Ryan, first of all, I think you guys are kind of joining this on to Sigma 2, correct? There's kind of two families uh, working together, right? Correct. So how do those work together and what are the differences between the two? Yeah, so our new Hepler line is going to be complementing Sigma 2. And with Sigma 2, we're really focusing on the insert technology, a softer feel, TR face technology. Uh, with Hepler, we're focusing on a little bit different message. This is built on being a firmer, more stable, solid feel as well as the way that we've designed them. We have really strong color blocking between the black and copper accents. Uh, it helps with alignment, as well as when we get into the mallets within this family, using multi-material that allows us to really boost MOI, double the MOI uh, in many instances with different models within this line, and make some bigger, bolder, more dynamic model uh, mallet designs. Yeah, you mentioned that color kind of contrast between copper and the black, that it presents really well at a dress now. Getting into the materials now, because obviously the, to create that firm feel that you don't have the inserts, so what are the materials that go into the Pink Hepler series? Yeah, so in the mid mallets and the mallets, um, we're utilizing a pressure cast aluminum material. Um, it's a lighter weight material. It allows us to uh, make a bolder section within that design, but due to being lighter, uh, we can use a lot of the other discretionary mass to get bigger perimeter weighting. And so we combine the aluminum with sole plates that are made of steel, allows us to get much higher MOI, better CG positioning, and ultimately be able to make some bigger, bolder, more dynamic mallet designs. Obviously with putter designs, a lot of it is about you know, finding an option for all golfers, right? Because not everybody has the same stroke type, um, and not, not everybody prefers a blade to a mallet and vice versa. So within the series, I believe there are nine models total, eight different head models. Correct. So how do those work and how do you uh, find options for every type of golfer? So we really want to look at kind of the holistic line and, and figure out how do we best fit the needs of many different golfers. Um, and so between the blades, the mid mallets, and the mallets, uh, we identify different closing angles, different head weights, uh, different tempos, and really try to fit between what we've done with our blades, our Answer 2 and our ZB3, having a center shafted option as well as an arm lock option um, with our Piper designs. And then within the mallet categories, having some different causal types that allow us to have straight, slight, and strong heart options. That really then fits into also having our adjustable length system and being able to hit on all the fitting archetypes that allow you to really uh, optimize that putter for every golfer. And one thing I also looked at with the Tomcat 14 model was the unique alignment aid on there. I believe is that was uh, inspired from an aircraft or an airplane kind of landing area, is that yep, correct? Correct. So Tomcat 14 is a great one for really looking at how we're utilizing the pressure casting aluminum section, being able to make a bigger, bolder mallet design, very high MOI, and then the alignment sections, which were inspired from airplane landing strip, what the pilots used to actually uh, land the planes, really gives this idea of uh, showing you exactly your line um, in just a new fashion, um, something that we haven't really done before in the market. Um, and the way that we've graduated the dots along the top, there's 14, give a little bit of the idea of motion. Um, it just helps okay. the player think about taking the putter away and returning it. Just those subtle details that help golfers go out there and play their best. Sure, and then you mentioned a little bit the adjustable length shaft. Mm -hmm. uh, it started with Sigma 2 and you brought it into Hepler now. Uh, just from a fitting aspect, how many you know golfers out there really are playing the wrong length and what are they missing out on if they're not getting fit for the right length? Yeah, so it's definitely a high percentage that are not playing the correct yeah. length. And what we've identified is really it's not, there's not a standard, not everybody's on a half inch or a quarter inch off of you know, 35, 34 sure. and a half. Um, and so it really helps with our system. You can dial it in exactly to what's your optimized length. Um, you can go between 32 and 36 inches. Every putter has that technology built in. Um, and ultimately, uh, what we're really trying to do with uh, Hepler, we've updated the system. It's a little bit firmer, not as flexible compared to Sigma okay. 2, um, and really making it just feel like a traditional putter. Awesome. Well, Ryan, thank you for joining us for these videos here and talking about the Ping Hepler putters.